Hi friends, it's late, I've had some wine. Let's film an ink and pen video, woohoo! Um, so we're gonna do Currently Inked for August 2023. How can that even be the time? I don't know. So these are the only three pens I have currently inked. I don't, I haven't been inking a lot of pens because I felt like, oh, I'm just gonna have to change out my pens soon. Which is foolish. So we're going to go to the back here. And I found a new page to write on. So let's see how much ink is left in these bad boys. Not much in here. Good. I'm feeling good about my options right now. Real good. This one is my most recently inked. Is it? That's a lie. That's a lie. It's not. This has kind of a lot in it. Oh, no, it doesn't. It has this much. It's just that the ink is coating. I'm winning tonight. So... And the last one, this time of year, summer, is ant season in this area. We get all these sugar ants that come in for sugar, but worse still, water. Meaning they will invade your bathroom. Hey, wait. Wait, this pen's like empty. What? This isn't currently inked at all. If I didn't like this pen, I would like chuck it out of the scene for comedic effect. So just picture that I've done that. I only have two pens inked? Who am I? I don't even know. I don't even know. So I'm pretty sure I know what's in these, but I also think I wrote it down here. And I just lost my snips on the floor. I'm on fire. Okay. Yeah, I did know it was in there. Great, great. Stop, stop, my thing is falling. So, this is great. We're doing well, how's it going? How are you doing? You have any guesses what I'm about to ink up? Put it in the comments. Okay, what did I say we're doing? This pin is juicy. Do you see that? It's thick. So this is my Carolina Pin Company Charleston in the Mermaid Tears color. And this is a broad nib. I'll write Mermaid Tears because it's funny to me. Mermaid Tears B. And this ink is Diamine Mombato's Hat. Super juicy. Lubricated. You know, you know what to expect from Diamine. And here we have my Woodshed Pen Company pen in the colored Mermaid Tears. Yeah, yeah, same color. So, Woodshed Pens, Mermaid Tears, Rod, and this is Diamine Celadon Cat. Also thick. Look at it being thick. Mm -hmm. Those are my only two pins. I had, um, you saw, I put a pink one in this. There it is. But it's basically empty now, so it's dead to us. Now, Here's those two pins next to each other. They don't, I mean, like, they're not the same color. This one, there's almost no touch of purple, and it's 
polished and this one is matte and there's quite a lot of purple. They are both gorgeous though. And a blue purple. Well, speaking of, boo, boo, boo. So this mad half hour, I want to get that in a pen. And I think I know the perfect pen because this ink is from Ms. Inkspet Amanda B. herself. I could do the pen that we have the same finish on, which would actually be perfect. It's this... Uh, wall town pen and the peacock plume but I don't really want to put a shimmer ink in it so the other pen that I think will be perfect is the Twisby transparent purple now I want a bee in here this doesn't really look like a bee to me let me get a thing and look at it it had an M, I switched it out. Now it is a B. <laughs> now it's a B, everybody. I'm a child. Um, okay, so obviously we're about to put a shimmer purple in a pen and I have a purple and a other color. Um, it'd be nice to, to look at these on a different color paper, wouldn't it? But you know, a lot of things would be nice, and they're not going to happen right now either. So I think I'd like to write with a blue ink. I don't know if I told you about the sort of kerfuffle that happened with blue when I was like, I'm going to write it, I'm going to do a blue ink, and then I inked up a purple pen. It, well, a, a blue pen with purple ink. But uh, yeah, I want to do a blue ink. And I'm kind of feeling like I should show some love to one of my bottles of ink. So... I'm going to look through here, and the problem is, I say blue, I end up with teal. I end up with Sailor California. <laughs> you know what's funny? Of all of these, I've had Spirit in a pen twice. It's a good color. It's a green, but like a bluey green. Well, you're in the camera. Yeah, sure. That was in view the whole time, right? Thanks. Um... So I hope you're enjoying this. This this was the one that was in here. I gotta get a different pen. I don't really let people in my mind, but for ink it's probably safe. Ish. Okay, so I should just skip straight to the blues if we're gonna just look at blues, right? Otherwise what's gonna happen is we'll be like, ooh, but that's a pretty color. This isn't blue. It's funny that Fox Love to me is purple, but like looking at it, it's so blue. Okay. Milky Ocean? That's been in twice. Lamy Blue, I haven't inked up. Well, I did for 30 inks, I think, but you know, I don't know. Lamy Turquoise. Give me Z turquoise. Sailor Michigan. Those are all three different colors. Thank you. Kimit du Nepal. Amaloni. Fort Colonel Cove. Aquamarine. Oh, I do love this color. Like a lot. A lot, a lot. Aurora Borealis. Wayfarer. Emerald of Shapur. My lovely. My sweet. How is this not marked as inked? Like, this has definitely been inked at least twice. More than that, but. Galactic Twinkle. Nebulous Space Kitty. Ugh, Sailor California. I am so, like, there are many colors that would be better to represent the state of California. But... I love this color, so I can't be sad. Cat! You I feel good about. All of those have been inked. Oh. Oh, oh, that is nice. Okay. What's, what are we feeling in our heart? 
If you were picking one of these blues, what blue would it be? I'm going to pause and look through them again a little more slowly. We won't subject you to that. And then we'll see what we can see. Okay, actually, I'm coming back because I had another thought, which is if I know I want a blue, this is actually what happened. No, it's not. But um, maybe I, like, look at the pen and see what pen speaks to my heart. So... Look how similar these two are. They're friends. Oh, you know what? I was telling someone I should ink up a pelican. Okay, so we'll take these out. I don't know that either of these are speaking to me for blue. But we're going to put them aside here to think of. Of course we have my love. My I love them all. I like how this one is like slightly tapered here. Um, and then we have the Eco Collection. You know what else has been really singing to me? is my Edelweiss. Maybe because it's my birthday pin? I don't know. It's just so nice. It hasn't been singing Edelweiss to me, though. It's small and bright. I mean, admittedly, I did ink up two of my favorite hand-turned pens already. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So... Oh, sorry, that sounds usually irritating for people. This is my um, Banu Scepter, Grande, Grand Scepter. Okay, well, nib sizes are all broad, so maybe I do something with a medium. And a pin I haven't done in a while. I think the problem is most of them aren't medium because <laughs> it's me we're talking about. And I'm abroad. Because <gasps> I'm always yelling! Hmm. How do you pick your currently inked? Do you have this model like I do? Y'all, yeah, I almost just decided to myself that I should do abalone, and then I remembered that Celadon Cat and abalone are really similar. So, I feel smart right now for remembering that, even though that has nothing to do with smarts. All right, I picked one. And I know another one I want to do. Pretty sure this is a broad. So I'm feeling like I need a, a pink or something. Um, oh, well, I wasn't going to do that color. Is it too late? I mean, it's never too late, Maria. Oh, there's that color. There's like an ink that has just taken my heart. Yeah, I'm going to do that color. Now, the last one I want to do, because I think five feels like a good place to start, because I haven't been writing a ton. Um, my journaling has felt like a chore at times, which is like a, you know, should never be like that. You know what I'm realizing is I don't have good Twisbees for like 
these kinds of colors. So maybe I should get that heat. Ugh. I don't want an orange pen. I'll just put it in a clear pen, Maria. Maria. I talked myself around everyone. We're okay. So I'm feeling like you can't see the other colors I've chosen yet. Um, can I? Yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna have six pens inked. Wait, if I pick one more, I'll have six. Is that too many? No, I'm feeling like I need one that's like up at the front here. Ooh, this would push my comfort zone. Schrodinger. Could do Abigail. But you know what's interesting is if you look at like number of times I've had these inks and pens, Tsutsuji and Hissy Fit and Yamabudo all have like fairly high numbers, like two and three. The only one with more is Earl Grey and that's because I did that thing where I put it in like four different pens. So those are the ones I'm feeling the most and then we get back here, I could do something like Opportunity, Mysterium. I don't want one of these moody ones, you know. So it's gonna be one of these up here. All right, so go ahead and make your guesses which one I choose. It's not gonna be all gold green and it's not gonna be golden barrel, so. It'll be one of these. Go ahead and guess, and then we'll see. Because I don't know yet what it's going to be, but it's going to be one of them. Okay, choices have been made. Let's get to inking. We're off to a good start. So the first one we're going to ink up is Van Diemen's Mad Half Hour. This is from their feline collection. If you want to see the swatching of that collection, the illustrious Ms. Manda B has it over on her channel. She was the one who gave me a sample of it. And I knew I'd have to put it in a pen. ASAP. Let me ask you, have you seen the show Home Movies? Because there's this character who like would go off, who was he? I think he's the principal. And he would like say these random things and at one point he refers to Akasap, which is as close to as soonly as possible. And I think of that a lot. So this is a Twisby Eco Transparent Purple with a broad nib. And the ink is Van Diemen's Feline. My handwriting is, we're rushing right now. Mad have our It's interesting, it is coming across a little more, mm, reddish than I would have expected. I want to give a little like scribbles next to these. A la Simona at Simone. 
but like sloppy and not with her care. I almost picked another color that was basically the same as Celadon Cat. Like, I'm, I guess I'm feeling it, you know? So that's the first choice. The second choice, I told you I wanted to get a Pelican. So I'm going with my M605 and the black tortoise shawl. Amanda's trying to get this pen and having a rough time, so I don't know. If she can't get it, I'm going to see if she wants to buy this one. Because, you know, I want her to have it if she wants it. <laughs> is that weird of me? Maybe. And the ink we're going to put in this is KWZ Turquoise. I like the juxtaposition. I almost went with abalone because this is Mother of Pearl, abalone, and then I was like, ooh, Milky Ocean because abalone, or Mother of Pearl, excuse me, is from the ocean, and I'm like, Maria, just pick a blue ink that you want to use. And I was like, okay. And I went with this one because it's a pretty blue ink, and also it smells wonderful. <laughs> mm hmm don't have your ink, but also this ink smells great. Drop this off. This is, let's wait, let's do this scribble first. There, okay. Pelican M605. Black tort. Mmm. Oh, I didn't do the thing. Ugh, whatever. It's not whatever, though. It's going to bother me. There's no room for it. Oh, you know what? There's room over here. A little bit dry. A little bit dry. Two more. Two more. There's the one where I said the ink had captured my heart. I'm going to put that in this Twisby Go in Smoke. If you know me, you may know that that suggests certain properties of this ink. What could it be? The suspense is terrible. I hope it'll last. Can you hear it? That's right, it's shimmer. This one probably got a pretty good fill. I find it, of all the pens, hardest to give Twisby Goes like a less of a fill. So, let's go. Do you know what it is? Color verse shiny black. Countess, thinking of you, miss seeing you. Hope you approve. I mean, you'd put it in a better pen than this. Well, should I say better? Different. Classier. But this is me. And sometimes this is how we do it around here. 
And the last pin I'm going to do is my Platinum Placier. I'm pretty sure it says like a medium nib. You know, whatever. It's something. Man, look at that. It's, 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 it's thick even on here. Stop, Maria. And I've got a sort of motley assortment of colors. Yeah. So absolutely, no, no, that's not true. A little bit of ink made it in there. But like almost none. Okay. Almost none, but some. Okay. And last. I don't think that's, well, whatever it is. Platinum Placer. We're going to call this a medium. This is the color Black Mist. The ink is Pannonia. Abigail. Do I have this right that the accent is over here? The E. So, here we go. My pins are all dark and brooding. Well, Look, sometimes these, these these things happen. I mostly have brooding pins, I guess, you know? Whatever. This is the month, y'all, of the San Francisco Pin Show. Not for a bit, a few weeks, but I'm looking forward to it. Currently planning on going, um, meeting folks, having a great time. If you see me there, you recognize this pink hair probably. Feel free to say hi to me. Um, I might be, like, super excited because I like being around people, except for I get afraid of catching diseases, so please don't take it. Look, stop talking. All right, so I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Would you use any of these inks? Which is your favorite ink? Which is your favorite pen? Do you think any of the combos is likely to be, like, extra great or extra blah? Would love to hear from you. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.